Hello, hello, hello. I am He He, the founder of Tranquility by He He Maternity Concierge, and we help you birth like a queen. We help you have your babies without the fear and anxiety by harnessing the control and the energy that is already inside of you because I know that you're capable of achieving your ideal birth. Part of that is avoiding a C section, and the answer because I get this question on a daily basis. How can I avoid a C-section? And the simple answer is, I don't know. And I don't know if anybody knows. And honestly, I don't know if it's entirely possible for everyone to avoid a C-section. I do know though, that it is entirely possible for everyone to take control of the things that you do have in control, that you do have control over, like making the cards play in your favor. You can stack the odds for you and not against you. You can do things to lower your risk of certain things and increase your risk of achieving certain birth outcomes. So let's back up a little bit and go to the science and what does the, the data say before I share how you can do these things. So I was actually looking into cesarean rates when I stumbled across this 2000 and study, 2007 study by Reagan, and it was looking at the mindset of providers and nurses in particular, um, and how it Im impacts your birth experience. And I found some fascinating things. So I wanted to break it down into three categories that the article breaks it down into so that you know how to categorize your doctor because it may impact your decision to stay with that provider or change. And it's never too late to change providers, okay? The article breaks it down into three categories. Birth as a natural process birth as a lurking risk and birth as a risky process. And so you're going to want to think about your provider and ask them questions about their philosophy, their ideas of birth, um, the certain situations that you may be fearful of or you've heard of or you just are wondering about. You want to make sure that your provider is making you feel confident and supported and offering resources, offering the whys and the hows and all of the behind the scenes, because guess what? This is your body and your birth, so you deserve to know that information. Another thing that I wanted to point out from the article is that it says, some nurses will recognize the birthing parent as a credible knower, and some will see themselves as the expert and will either blatantly or unconsciously disregard what the patient is saying, requesting, sharing, or inquiring about. Now, you want to be mindful of how you are being treated when you are in there for your visits as well. This is everything. The way that they treat you when you're not in labor is going to be super telling of how they're going to treat you when you are in labor. Again, you want to make sure that you are being really supported you're being comforted, you're being shown resources and shared all behind the scenes of what's happening because that helps you stay in control. If you know what's going on, then there's very little room for you to lose control because you get to make the decisions along the way. Okay, so I wanted to share um, four questions that you can ask to know where you stand with your provider, okay? What would you do if I go past my guesstimated due date? Now, notice I say guesstimated due date, not estimated due date. This is a guesstimate. It is based on a guess, based on a guess, based on a guess, and we're just guessing when your baby might come. So what would, what is the situation going to look like if I go past my guesstimated due date? Um, I encourage you to push them if they say, oh, we'll talk about that then. I encourage you to say, no, I would actually feel better knowing what I'm looking at. Can, do you mind running through a few situations with me? I, I just have a few questions of, you know, certain paths that it might go. I cope better that way if I know what to expect. Um, the second question is, what's their method of induction at that point? So if you do go past your guesstimated due date and you need some medical induction, you need some medical encouragement to help this baby start getting out, where would they start? Are they going to start medically or are they going to start with something, um, you know, rather non-invasive like 
encouraging you to have sex or nipple stimulation, or maybe they, um, uh, not super non-invasive, uh, not super invasive, but not non-invasive is going to be a membrane sweep. It is internal, but it, um, you know, it's not internal. It's not as invasive as medical induction. So there is a hierarchy. Where would your doctor fall on that or your midwife fall on that if you were to go past your estimated due date? Um, likely, or, you know, likewise, a big baby. What is your provider's outlook on big babies? What is your provider's outlook and management of gestational diabetes? What is your provider's outlook and management of breech babies? Um, you want to know all of these things. These are all good indicators of how likely you might be faced with the decision of, you know, being asked to have a C-section. Um, this the the very last thing I would encourage you to do is ask your doctor's individual like personal cesarean rate. They should know it. They should have an idea of how many cesareans they perform out of all of their clients, even a rough estimate. Um, and you want to be mindful that if it's more than half, then you know that every other birthing person that goes into their care will end up with a cesarean section. If you are willing to be one out of two um, and take your chances like that, then that is something to be mindful of. These are conversations that we have all the time in the birth lounge to help you prepare for your birth and plan for postpartum and navigate pregnancy right where you are now so that you can make these decisions with evidence-based information knowing what the data says and knowing that we are behind you 110%. You have a community to lean on. You can visit thebirthlounge.com to join us. I cannot wait to hang out with you and help you birth like a queen.